Hello everybody, anybody who's watching this, uh, I've decided to try doing something a little bit different with my content on my channel, so I'm going to take you all along for another adventure. Um, today I'm working on this little DR125, and when I got it, the muffler had sort of rusted out and busted open like that, as you can see. Got a big old hole in it. And now, what that means is, let me get you situated here. When I crank it up, it's pretty loud. So, um, I'm going to see if I can't make it a little bit quieter and um, get that thing fixed so I'm gonna try filming as I fabricate my plan is to cut a nice square hole where this big hole is cut it nice and square and patch it up with a piece of um, an old helium tank that I found and I'll show y'all the process as I go and then I'm also going to take this whole thing and sand it down and give it a nice fresh coat of shiny black paint or semi-gloss black paint as it is so yep so I've got the seat off and I'm removing the muffler now it's a 12 millimeter bolt here a 12 millimeter bolt on that clamp there it's a 12 millimeter bolt here with a nut on the back side of it so that's why I had to take the seat off. gotten this clamp out from around the pipe um, and now I've just got to try and figure out how to get it unseized. Alright, so I was not able to get this apart in the middle, so I ended up pulling the <clears throat> header out of the engine, and now I can't snake that out yet. Um, it won't come out without pulling the back wheel, so now I'm going to pull the back wheel. be unable to get that uh, muffler off the exhaust header so I think I'm just gonna try and repair it with the header on and uh, put it back on that way so that's my next order of business I'm just <laughs> so I don't have any regular safety goggles but I have old motocross goggles, um, and uh, I really like them as safety goggles because they seal all around the edges and uh, 
I've had cases where I get sparks and stuff up under safety goggles before. So I like these because they still better. this cleaned up and I just need to mark out how far I need to cut. I'm going to cut a nice fairly squarish hole out of this um, and then I'm going to cut a new piece and bend it in and weld it up. inside of the muffler and it's pretty completely rotted out all the way in there so what I'm gonna do really is just put a patch on the outside of it and um, not gonna mess with the not gonna mess with the inside of it where it's all rotted out and it will make it not much quieter but it should end up a little bit quieter because um, it'll have to go through out there so now it's time to go get our patch so um, I'm gonna make my patch out of that little helium can but I'm a little concerned to cut it um, just as it is because I don't know for sure that it doesn't have any pressure and so my solution to that is This All I gotta do is Shoot a hole in it and that way I can be safely back and out of the way um so if it does explode, it doesn't explode me. Um, never mind me doing this by my kitchen sink. It's uh, the only place I have in my yard where I can shoot is right there. So that's what I'm going to do. Alright, welcome back to the shop. That was some fun shooting. Um, I don't know if I got it on video or not, but I made all the milk jugs fly up in the air shooting at the bottom. And in like the three minutes stopped filming me shooting, it decided to get like completely snowy outside. Um, I'm not entirely sure how or why, but... It's all snowy now, so I'm really grateful to have some heat. It's really nice. So anyway, 
I'm fairly confident now that I have successfully depressurized the, uh, the can. Um, and so now I can cut it open without worrying about it exploding on me. But, first thing I'm going to do is cut myself a little cardboard template um, for the piece that I'm going to fill in there. And uh, make sure that it fits and then use the cardboard template to cut that. got that cardboard close enough that I'm going to go ahead and run with it. Um, it is slightly easier to trim metal than it is to trim cardboard. Um, I know that's kind of funny, but it's easier to trim it accurately. I'll say that. So I'm going to go ahead and use this as my template and cut out um, my little section of the can. So I'm going to do that. I'm back with appropriate hearing protection, and uh, that should make this whole thing a little bit more pleasant. to it but I didn't do much while it was gone um, I got my patch shaped and got it just about how I like it and I'm gonna call it good enough um, so, patch work works pretty well. Now what I'm going to do is just clean up the edges of this muffler and get it ready to weld. and so I keep punching through it because it's really really thin so I'm trying to figure out how to get it working in the meantime I'm going to clean up some of the mess I made Thank you. 
I'm making a little bit of progress. You can see there's still. Oh, come on, focus up. Still a hole there. But I got the sides of it all welded up. Or the, the ends. And I'm still working on that. Um, this bit. Let's see. I can zoom it in. Okay. It's really thin, and so I'm trying to build it up on the top side. And build it up and let it sort of drip down into the lower part so that I don't blow more holes in it because I've already blown holes in it. So that's what I'm doing now, and I'll probably. Um, start filming again everything that I'm doing when I finish this when I start cleaning this up um, so yeah so I got finished welding it I wasn't able right here right there and right same spot on the other side right there I was not able to get the welds to stick all the way because um, the metal on the exhaust pipe was just so thin um, it just kept having holes blown through it um, but I got it all welded up other than that and I did as best as I could with that got it all welded up and I hung it from the roof and I've painted the muffler part can't paint the rest of it because I think it gets too hot. Alright, so um got back this afternoon and the paint's dried. And so I went ahead and snaked the exhaust back into where it goes. And I'm starting to tighten up the front bolts of the header right now, and I'll be Finishing installing the exhaust, throwing the rear wheel back on, and then I'll be done. on those bolts I have no clue I'm torquing them to uh, about that much
that's a lot quieter. So, let's see.